Whistled on the Wind to me is about uh, people dealing with grief, people dealing with feeling powerless, and the things that we reach for to cope with that, religion, law and order, punishment, justice. We have a wonderful um, musical supervisor by the name of Stuart Morley who with his genius has put into these reorchestrations uh, a real small town Louisiana sound yes. which is like get like uh, the original soundtrack of this show was so big and so you know like it felt like it was 30 musicians. With us there's not many instruments yet it still feels so full mm -hmm. and magical. I think it adds such a brilliant fourth dimension to the piece and it just makes mm. so much sense. It's such a small little company and then we get to come out and just enjoy like the wildlife <laughs> from being like City Girl to do something like this. I'm like, there is a duck just walking for us. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm literally at one with Earth. Time is so brilliant at setting up a space that Amazing. feels really safe and we've got permission to fail gloriously which is one of Tom's favorite things mm -hmm. and actually in failing gloriously you find things that you wouldn't have found if you were trying to be perfect all the time. Mm -hmm. What I'm working out being an actor muso is is about giving the actors the power to tell their own story and the characters the power to tell their own story. It's given me personally just a lot more ownership over the character because he's he's mm. he's creating his own world that he lives in. None of us have been able to listen to Lydia sing Whistle Down the Wind without sobbing. Yep, yeah, every <laughs> it's time. The most every beautiful time. thing you'll ever hear. Yeah. yeah. The audience will feel like they're part of the community and I think they go through the stages of grief with us. I just think the room is really magical. It is, yeah. Just witnessing people be brilliant yeah. every day. I'm very lucky. Yeah.